Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with Tech Out. Today, we're going to be using the new Android Flash tool, a web based flashing tool for the Pixel, to install Android 11 Developer Preview 2. I have a Pixel 4 XL, so we're going to use this link right here. I haven't connected the phone to my computer um, or done anything like that, so we're just going to click this and um, walk through the steps and see what it tells us to do. All right, so um, we need to connect it via a USB cable. All right, so it's plugged in. Let's see. Pretty sure we already have that. All right, so let's see. I want to add a new device. Click up here, connect. So we're going to turn that on. Alright, so it is on. Going to click allow. Okay, so we are connected. So we're going to click the device. And we've already selected this build right here. I guess if we choose this, we can... Um, it's got some other options right here. You can choose from wipe device. I'm not going to choose wipe device. It did say it was going to um, wipe it, but... I'm going to leave that off and we'll see what it does. Alright, so it's got some instructions right here. Um, it says installing an image may require erasing all data and unlocking the bootloader, which it is done. You don't need to unlock the bootloader to install the developer preview, but if you want to go back, you do have to have the bootloader unlocked. Um, here's the information right here, Pixel 4, and the build, like I said, Android 11 developer preview 2. We're going to confirm that, we're going to accept that, and let's see, we're going to choose always allow on the phone, click allow again, and it's going to do its thing, so we're going to let it sit here and do that. By the way, I didn't have to put my phone in any special mode or anything like that, it was already it was just on the home screen, it automatically rebooted into the bootloader by itself. Alright, so it's just still waiting for Fastboot to come up. It says it's in Fastboot mode, so we're going to just reselect it here. There we go. So it's downloading the software, and again, just going to let it do its thing. So if you're watching this, it may be a little bit of a wait while this uh, happens.
Alright, just did another reboot back into the fast boot mode. Rebooting again. You can hear the phone connecting and disconnecting there. Alright, starting back up into something here. Got the Google screen. Now we're in the fast boot D mode. The phone doesn't really show any like progress or it doesn't really show what it's doing. Um, everything is just right here on the loading bar. So the phone doesn't really show anything as far as progress or like what's being done. Um, it just says do not interact with it unless instructed to do so and obviously don't unplug it. All right, finishing that up. Let's see, so successfully updated. The phone is starting back up here. When the phone starts back up, I'm gonna go back to the list here and just see what kind of options it gives us for going back to a previous version as well. And we'll have to see if it actually wiped the device. I don't think it did. I think they just put that on there to get you to back it up. phone is starting back up. Yeah, so the phone did not wipe. Let me see if I can find a build number.
So it looks like this is only for um, doing the beta build right now. There is a pixel repair tool um, that is similar to this. I think this one you have to put it in. Yeah, you have to put it in rescue mode, but whatever. Um, there is a similar tool that lets you do the same thing. Let me just try it one more time. Yeah. Um, that lets you do the same thing and reinstall your software or um, go back a version. You just have to have an unlocked bootloader for this, though. But that is the Android Flash tool and updating to Android 11 Developer Preview 2.